Now to another shooting, this one in Dayton and deadly. Reverend William Schooler was shot and killed Sunday afternoon during church service. Tonight, church leaders and community organizers are praising Reverend Schooler for his hard work in the Miami Valley. Two News reporter Beershell led May bringing us their reaction tonight. Everyone from local pastors to a U.S. congressman are remembering Pastor Schooler and his impact in the Gem City. Police say the 70-year-old was shot and killed in his office as Sunday celebrations wrapped up at St. Peter's Missionary Baptist Church. The suspect is his younger brother, Daniel Schooler, who has been arrested and awaiting formal charges. St. Peter's is a family church of the Schooler brothers. It was led by their father, Reverend Alan Schooler. After their dad's death in the 1970s, older brother William took over. People say even before that, he served as a community pillar. He fought for fair access to banks when PNC tried to leave the West Town Shopping Center. Reverend Schooler also creating new initiatives for education in his nearly three decades of service in Dayton and Jefferson Township. Tonight, one group is calling Pastor Williams' death a tragedy and that it highlights the issue with access to guns and gun violence. As a member of the black community that has learned from men like Dr. Schooler, we will continue to not be deterred from the greater cause, and that is the charge and cause to continue to work collectively to improve the conditions like gun violence. In Dayton, the solution lies collectively in our ability and our concern with addressing these issues. And so it is not just one solution, but it takes time. We have to build uh, uh, legislation, we have to do it through government, we have to do it neighborhood by neighborhood. Community Progress Institute says a major void is now left with Schooler's murder. Congressman Mike Turner agrees. In a statement, he says, quote, Reverend Schooler dedicated his life to the community as a former member of Dayton's Northwest Priority Board and the Dayton Board of Education. My thoughts and prayers are with his wife and family while they continue to work through this difficult time. Coming up at 6, we're following tips that money disputes may be behind this death. What we found in court documents of the legal battles between these two brothers. For now, reporting Beershaw Edmay, 5 on 2.